Welcome back, guys. To I forget what this is called. The one time impromptu where there's a lot of things everywhere. Last episode, we got a little bit acclimated to the world here, and we also twit around with what I will do if I see somebody, and also the idea of maybe caving. Which is something, fire aspect is off by the way, if you're confused why I didn't take that. Um, basically what I was saying is temples would be a really great find, and would make this game a very easy one and we can find temples if there's a desert because the way this mod pack works is it just spawns things in biomes that they're able to spawn in but also I haven't seen a desert yet but it would be very very helpful so we're gonna hope for the best we're gonna keep killing these chickens too because arrows is a necessity that you can't really get in loot as far as i am aware not in anything vanilla minecraft that is and although this isn't necessarily vanilla minecraft the structures are all from it there we go that's my old depth strider that's too fun to get rid of Okay, make some more of this to save some room. Same with these guys. Okay, I do have the notch apples. I'm not really sure how Birdie has them coded on here. I know that they are very like different in this version. So a lot of posts kind of code them very differently. Some um, well, honestly, I think most just remove the large amount of absorption that comes with it. Because otherwise it's tame enough that it isn't a huge deal. There's potential we go in cave just for a couple diamonds, and I also hope to find reeds for a book. And we also need levels, so that is another reason to uh, head down in cave for a little bit. I don't really want to, but might be the move if I don't see a desert here in the near future. I've done a lot of maneuvering around the map, but at the very least, I'd like to get a couple diamonds and get enchanted. I will not cave, though, if it's something I have to dig down to, because with a game mode like this, digging down is, honest to God, a waste of time. Not worth the effort, really. Now, this will be a very melee-heavy game due to the healing that we all possess. A high amount of so I need to be ready for that plan my gear accordingly I'll probably get on food for the entirety of the game honest to god we can even slow down on nuggets a bit I've got 19 iron drop another one of these that's just the one. Okay. Cool. Huh. Thinking of where to go. I might veer through the forest here. See what we can encounter. Okay. I think it's safe to just heal. Lucky for the sanity of everyone here, this is not absorption. So... It is actually possible to kill people with all of this healing. It will still be difficult, but possible is the key word here. I really wouldn't mind bumping into somebody. I'd be willing to fight most unless, you know, they did find temples and are pushing full diamond or even enchanted really. But I'm guessing there's a lot of people in my situation that just really can't be bothered to cave. So I got that going. Pretty good. I got the whole two board to cave thing going on the rest of the game. Notch apple again. I didn't even like notice. 
Okay. I didn't know the rune portals got as big as these ones are. Honestly, the most tedious thing about this is taking the nuggets and making ingots. I'm gonna be honest. Which, you know, really isn't a big thing to complain about. Because I get a lot of shit from it. Do a little bit of that, a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Okay. Now you might be noticing I don't have my notch apples on my bar. You would be correct. Might be a mistake. But I kind of like the setup I have here. If I need to switch them out quick, I know that they are right there. I might skip some easy chests here because my main goal at the moment is, as I've stated a few times, to get to a desert. Um, because, again, as I've stated previously, that will be very beneficial to our little game. We've gotten the healing side of it now, so it would just be very lovely and helpful to get the other side, the diamond side, which pretty much mainly comes from temples in this type of game. Now I just saw an igloo. Pet demon got poisoned. That'd be a minor inconvenience for me, honestly. Can't imagine that being too big of a struggle for him. Pet demon's a newer face around in the community, which is fun to see. It was nice to see some new little buddies in our little world, as most of the people have been around for quite some time. Always love seeing new faces come in. Another notch apple, that's like the fourth. Yeah, people are going to be a bitch to kill. I think it's time we start heading for some just straight up like running without grabbing I'll check for like notch apples but otherwise like I really don't want to like I, I can't be bothered to take the time honestly because like I I don't know the point I do need to find raids kind of a luxury though in this game because a lot of the edge of the uh, water is taken up by structures so reeds don't spawn thanks to that like, this would all be a river, but there's just a fucking ruined portal slapped on it. I don't actually know what you can find at the bottom of these igloos, and if it's really worth my time. CJ's shouting my name. He likely sees me. Bruh. I still don't see him. Come back. I don't see you. I can't see you. I'm not going back. CJ can come to me. If he really wants the smoke. And trust me, he doesn't. I'm gonna do this. Maybe. There's someone behind me. Or is that something else making funny footsteps? Okay, I'll take a block of gold, I guess. I don't really need it. First time I've seen one of those, though. Bonk. There are probably people who know to man how to manipulate some of this shit in this version. I I'm pretty knowledgeable to the version at this point, but not to the point where I, like know how I want to I want to get better at it not my main focus in recent future but I'd like to be more knowledgeable on the newer versions I am quite knowledgeable at this point of like you know I can function on a UHC I know how it works but stuff like nether or little tricks and stuff are things I'd like to learn now we were actually just at zero zero, I'm pretty sure, based on where we're running now. 
right about the time CJ saw us. That's interesting. Hmm. Actually, I forgot my notch apples were there, and I almost ate them, thinking it was my carrots. Nada. Hmm. May as well. Can't hurt. Oh, it is now snowing. Up here could be desert. I think we're gonna boat around here in a moment. We're ready to go, Iron Man. Carter's at zero. Um, yeah, let's make a boat. Wish I had a frost walk, that would be fun. Carter was at zero there. Wonder what happened. Can we toggle for lag things? It's really not getting me that bad, but... Something is coming for me. Actually, I think I'm going over the magma cube stuff. I don't think this is really worth, by the way, checking out the ocean here. Oh! Okay, that's it. I guess that's it. I think the world border is a little bit scuffed. I think I saw someone mention that earlier. CJ did the Carter. Carter is at like half health. GG. Looks like our paths never did cross again. You don't want to fight? That's too bad. Uh, once again, I wouldn't mind fighting someone. I might go get enchants, though. Like, I might be digging down in the very near future. Unless something dramatically changes about the lack of desert. But something in me tells me if it's there, I'm not going to find it. This seems like a fucking piece of terrain to fight on. I think I should like pre-notch in every fight I go into. Given other people are going to have them, like, is it not a good idea to just eat one, like, as I'm going in to fight someone? I have enough to spare, you know? So my humble opinion, I think, uh... I think it's really not a bad idea. Because you know what else? I, I doubt because of the nature of this game mode that Brody did a lot of uh, ore limiter. Nice. Another notch apple. So it, again, might be in my benefit to cave. I'm not going to cave for gold. I'm just going down for diamonds if I go down. And levels. That's really it. I guess like lapis so that I can enchant. And if there's something else I think of when I'm down there, but I am unsure. That will be the case. Because like I could fight someone, but I... Oh, you know what I need though before I go down is book. A la reads. Or... Stupid old me could remember that one of these has bookshelves in it. Now, I could figure it out. I'm not too good at the new village layouts, and I, I think I could figure it out if there's a normal village, but again, due to the nature of this game, I, I couldn't really tell you what they'd look like. It's going to be harder to navigate. Harder to find something like that. 
It's an iron golem. I thought it was a guy. Hmm. There's a lot of igloos in this biome. Which makes sense. A lot of igloos very cut off, I guess. Look at what I had here, food. That's that. Oh, because I did think about going down and I was going to take my pickaxe out, but then I remembered my lack of book. Keep moving. Try to find the library or something, and then we can head down for a little while, get some levels, get some diamonds. And we'll be good. Good, honest to God, to just go hunt from that point on and open some chests on the way. Perhaps find some more healing as we go. Now, in just ravaging the map, I, I really haven't seen, like, many signs of people since PvP have been on. Which is interesting. It's probably because everybody is kind of circling each other in a way. Because everybody is moving. Another thing I could do is go down before getting books, get a ton of diamonds, and then come back up and get a book feeling much more safe. But... I also feel like it's just probably good that I get it. Yeah, every house is like cut off by other house or igloo, so it's hard to really find where to look. And if it is the right place, sometimes it's just completely cut off. There's something in there. I forget if there's any books upstairs here. Hey. Nice. Perfect. Make a really nice axe with a lot of books too, which is good. Um, right, axes and stuff. Vanilla. We're gonna find out before I like pimp out an axe. don't think so. Well, they are. Armor buff, bone nerf, okay. Cool. It's probably best we just dig down somewhere, isn't it? Hey, maybe spawners count as structures, too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the rule is with that. But we're going to head down. See what we can make happen down here. Might be a little bit boring. For which I'm sorry. Tweet. Yeah, hopefully we find something. It's funny that everybody just said agreed with him and said it in a different way. Isn't that a little goofy? Okay, hopefully. Hopefully we get down and find some goodies. Got the obsidian, so we don't need a pickaxe. We really just need two diamonds, and we can be enchanted. That and lapis, I guess. No crazy... Ooh. I was saying no crazy sea counter, but I think I've changed my mind. I'm not at a low level yet enough that it matters, though, so I should just keep going down. Just keep on keeping on. This is a structure. All the way down here. Episode 2 is done. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.